In this video, I'll cover description logics. I'll provide an overview of description logics and then discuss their hierarchical structure, category membership, and inference processes. Description logics are a family of logical approaches that correspond to specific subsets of first-order logic. The additional constraints placed upon description logics over more general first-order logic makes it possible to model more specific, critical forms of inference. Description logics specifically represent knowledge about categories, individuals who belong to those categories, and relationships that can hold among those individuals. You'll generally hear the set of categories comprising a given application domain referred to as the terminology, which is contained in a portion of the knowledge base called the T-box. The portion of the knowledge base containing facts about individuals is called the A-box, and then an ontology is a hierarchical representation of the subset and superset relations among different categories in the domain. Although in regular first-order logic you would represent a generic concept restaurant as restaurant X, in description logics we just represent this by the category name restaurant. We represent specific restaurants the same way that we do in first-order logic. There are a couple different ways we can define hierarchical structure using description logics. One way is to directly specify subsumption relations among concepts. When a category C is subsumed by a category D, that means that all members of C are also members of D. So for example, if we said that the category restaurant was subsumed by the category commercial establishment, and we said that the category Italian restaurant was subsumed by restaurant, then that would mean that an element Giordano's that belonged to Italian restaurant would also belong to restaurant and furthermore to commercial establishment. To further specify coverage or disjointness in this hierarchical structure, we can include logical operators in our subsumption relations. For example, if we want to indicate that Italian restaurants can also be Greek restaurants, we could use the logical not operation as shown here. If we want to indicate that the category restaurant is covered by the smaller categories Italian restaurant, Greek restaurant, and Mediterranean restaurant, we could use the logical or operation as shown here. Category membership can further be defined by relations between the concepts being defined and other concepts in the domain. For example, in the equivalence in red here, the description logic statement on the left-hand side conveys all of the information provided by the much more complex first-order logic statement on the right-hand side. This is in fact the other way that we can specify hierarchical structure and description logics. Relations allow us to explicitly define the necessary and sufficient conditions for membership in each category. Once we have a hierarchical structure in place, either through explicitly defined relations or through subsumption, we can perform inference to assess the validity of new inputs. Subsumption itself can be used as a form of inference. Basically, given the facts that we have available to us in our terminology, we can try to determine whether a superset-subset relationship exists between two given concepts. This is done similarly to what we saw earlier. If we have a restaurant, Giordano's, and we know that it's an Italian restaurant, but we've never actually been told that it's a restaurant in general, we can assume that it is in fact a restaurant, since the category Italian restaurant is subsumed by the category restaurant. Different description logics will implement subsumption and other types of inference needed for practical applications differently, depending on their own expressivity. However, these are generally always done using satisfiability methods that rely on underlying model theoretic semantics.